Hey, I'm Pascal from Horse Pixel and welcome to another video. We're almost at the end of the year and that's a great time to just um, look back at things and stuff like that. Next week we'll do an end of year review as I do every year. It will be the last video of the year on almost the last day of the year. So that's just working out pretty well. Uh, today I want to talk about the two games I've been working on. Because I've been working on two games and one of them is almost done. Uh, hopefully by the time this video goes live it's even closer to done. Um, and it's not the game that probably should have been done. So uh, let's talk about the games I've been working on. All right, let's talk about first game, Regulator City. The game I started in 2021 and it's still not done. I've been talking about that game a lot on this channel as it's been my main project for the whole year. Um, but let's do a very quick recap in a couple of minutes talking from start to finish where it started, where it's heading, where it is now, but it's still not done. Recap, Regulated City started out as an idea I had based on all those cool TV shows and movies where you are part of a whole team that operates as one, moves around a building or a mission as one, and just knows what to do, takes out the enemy. The first problem I had with this, I had no idea how to build the AI, so it took a very long time to Make sure that part of the game was actually up to a certain level or certain standard. That it's not frustrating, but actually fun to play with. And of course, every now and then they do stupid things. But if I can just get to the right level that I'm not frustrated about it too much, I think this could work. So I finally managed to get to that level of AI. It just took way too long. Then we ran into the next problem. I didn't really think through uh, what else I wanted from the game. And the game has changed over the recent months. Um, I had a city map, then I removed it. I had gangs, then I removed the gangs and replaced it with something else. I had different missions from a single street. Then I wanted one mission on the street. I've just been searching for the right setup for this game. Uh, the gameplay, the core is there. It's fun, it's good, it's interesting, but everything around it isn't ready yet. And it's not there and it's not interesting enough for players. And that's right now the biggest problem this game has. So that's gonna be the main focus for Regulator City in 2024. Um, figure out how to make it just that little more interesting and I'm very confident that can be done. Um, I could release it right now as a game but it just wouldn't be as good as I like it to. So we're going to focus on that and then in the meantime we're also going to try to promote the game and see if we can find streamers to play the game and increase those wishlist numbers. I believe that if you can show the game to enough people you will reach the right people that are actually interested in the game. At this point in my career it's more interesting for me to create games that I really like and really want to try certain things and then we'll try to sell those type of games because because I went through that phase of trying to just mimic or clone or copy all the successful games and then create my own version of that and release it and sell it and of course that works but it's also soul draining so I'm just at another stage in my career so to put it in a little diagram um, there are games that I love to make and then there are games that people love to play and somewhere in the middle is a group of people that like the games that I like to make and I have to just figure out how to reach those people. And with every game, that's a challenge. And for Regulated City, there are still some things that need changing and tweaking, but I'm getting closer to that and I'm, I'm confident we're gonna make it work. So, so to wrap up this recap, because it's a lot longer than a few minutes, um, Regulated City started in 2021, got funding at the start of this year from an uh, investment fund. So um, the game is okay for now. I can still put development time into it. I just need to start making money in 2024. And for that, I started the other project that we're gonna talk about in a minute. Right now, Regulate City is in a second game round. And this is a big game testing site. People get to play the game and give a little review. Uh, it's the second time it's in there. I got asked to return with my game, so why not? It's free. Right now, the comments and replies are much more favorable than the first time. Of course, we're like four, five, maybe six months later, the game has gone through a lot of development and improvement to make it user-friendly and more interesting to players. So we're on the right track and that's a good feeling as well. So um, yeah, 2024 Regular City will be released. We're just gonna have to tweak it a little bit, refine it some more and find the right audience to sell it to. Let's talk about my second game, Gauntlet of Power. So the Gauntlet of Power is a completely different game. It's the third game in the Heroes of Root series. And I think development started in April 
or May around that time. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't been keeping developer logs for this game. It's, it started as a Sunday afternoon project, just uh, grabbing a bunch of assets from Heroes of Loot 1 and 2, dumping it into a new game project that was very much like Vampire Survivors. I then came to the conclusion that I think that game is kind of boring. Sorry, I know there's a lot of people that enjoy it and like it. It just wasn't my type of game. Or again, as I just mentioned, not the type of game I want to make. So I wanted to change a little bit and I started creating a dungeon around it. And then it started to be more like Binding of Isaac combined with Vampire Survivors, but with its own level up power up system. Trust me, it works um, based on player feedback from like the first version I released all the way to now, the latest version I released a few weeks ago. Feedback has been great and interesting and much more, um, the feedback has just been much more than I had on Regulated City. So people are more uh, psyched or more enthusiastic about Gauntlet of Power than they are about Regulated City, which is another reason why I'm still tweaking Regulated City and Gauntlet of Power is now almost finished, actually. Um, I've been working on the end bosses in the last couple of weeks I think there are now 13 end bosses, uh, including the final, final end boss. And I don't like making end bosses. So the fact that I've put that many end bosses into the game is a good sign and a good thing. Um, just some tweaking here and there, but it's pretty much sure ready for early access release. I'm not releasing it yet. I'm waiting for the wishlist numbers to go up. Uh, there's still a Steam Next Fest I can participate in, and we're still gonna be contacting streamers and players like that to see if we can up those wishlist numbers. Um, but all in all, the game's development has been smooth and I set out to do just that. My whole idea for this game was to create a game with the least amount of friction or, or problems. So um, nothing weird gameplay wise that I had to research and learn. So it's built on experience, just reusing code, reusing ideas I already know how to implement and create and then reusing assets even. I've been using assets from Heroes of Loot 2, uh, Sir Questionnaire, all the games in my own universe that are a part of that type of a dungeon-like uh, environment, all those games have been used to create this new game. Of course, there are new graphics and new art and all that, but uh, my whole idea for this was to build and make it as quickly as possible to get it up and running as quickly as possible. And that's the best way this game is gonna be profitable. Um, even now the wishlist numbers are on par with Regulated City. I think there's like 30, uh, a wishlist difference of 30 wishlists. So um, Heroes of Loot, Gauntlet of Power has been doing the same amount of wishlist in a much shorter time and much less attention than Regulated City has, which is a good sign for Gauntlet of Power. And um, I've got high hopes that we can push that to 7,000 wishlist or more. Of course, the whole idea behind that is the more wishlist you have, the Steam algorithm kicks in when you launch the game and you will get more coverage, you will get more eyeballs on your game and chance of more people buying your game. So the more wishlist, the better. Um, obviously, since this game has been in development in such a short time and maybe in total like five or six months like that, uh, this game is going to be easier to have profitable and make money on than Regulated City had. So, um, this is also going to be the way forward for my next couple of games. I now have the chance to have games completed. So while Gauntlet of Power is done, um, it's just going to sit there for a while and I'm, I'm probably going to tweak it here and there as I'm still play testing it and I'm going to change things here and there, but it's, it's ready to go into early access. I just have to figure out the best time. So I'm either going to do Steam Next Fest in February, which is very short. Um, it might be a bit too soon, so maybe I'll try to push it to June and then we'll release in either June or July and um, hope for the best, pretty much. And while that's all happening, I'll be starting work on my next game. And the next game is gonna be Space Grunts, a new part in um, the Space Grunts trilogy. It's gonna be the third part. Space Grunts is my only turn-based um, IP, so the only type of games that I have that are turn-based but it's played in such a way that they are very uh, quickly and can be played as an arcade game. And we're gonna do that again for the third part. Um, on the second Space Grunts, I did a little venture into uh, deck building and cards and card battling and all that stuff. Um, I think it worked. It's a pretty interesting game, but it didn't get as much attention And the first game. I talked about Space Grunts a couple of weeks ago, but um, right now, I think I know how to recreate the magic that happened in Space Grunts 1 and can probably do a better job at it or even better than I did back then. 
So um, that's what we're going to try again. We're going to do it the same way I did Gauntlet of Power, um, least friction and, and distraction and other stuff. Focus on the actual core gameplay, get the core game up and running in a couple of weeks time, expand from there, uh, recreate or reuse uh, various things from other games. And Space Grunts is at the far end of the Orange Pixel universe. So it's very exciting to be able to create or reuse everything from all the games that I've been creating uh, ever since so all the gunslugs games snake core residual space grunts meganoid even the heroes of loot there will be a connection between all those games or it will be possible to do that and i do have a little tiny modification to the gameplay but we're going to try that and it's very easy to try and if it doesn't work we're not going to do it at all but um it's going to be interesting and fun and the plan is to also have this game up running in five or six months time get a very uh, quick demo out there on steam start gathering those wish lists pretty soon so um, let's say i start on this game in january i want a demo out in march and then uh, a steam page up and running and see if we can start building those uh, wish lists the cool thing about this is it's a turn-based it's a roguelike it's sci-fi um all popular genres so um i think it's gonna be interesting to do this and uh We'll see. I have a plan and that's what we're going to do in 2024. And that also means we're going to be releasing a lot of games. I'm going to be releasing Guns of Power on PC. Uh, we're going to do a Switch version together with Sirius Lion, the guy who does all the porting for me. Uh, Regulated City is going to be released also on Switch. Um, then with some luck Space Grunts 3 at the end of the year. And we'll also have a Switch version of that. And then I'm going to probably be releasing them on mobile depending on how mobile is at that point in time with premium games um, we'll see uh, there will be an atari vcs release if that atari market is still there if the players are still there and willing to buy the game so the plans are there i have a battle plan ready um let's bring on 2024 until then um, next week we'll be doing end of year review for this year how it was for Orange Pixel, also how it was for me. It's been a weird year with very highs and very lows. So I'm not sure how that video is gonna be. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure how that video will end up. Um, it might get a little bit personal, I'm not sure yet, but it's been a weird year. So uh, trust me, that video is gonna be um, interesting. And um, after that, I'll see you in 2024 with a bunch of new games coming. So. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment below, jump on the Discord to come and say hi and, and interact with me and all the other friendly people and the guy at the back is also there. Yes, you know the other, yeah, that one. So, um, see you there. All right, bye.